Hey guys, welcome back to Crafting Princesses. I want to start by saying please ignore my nails. They're a little bit of a struggle right now. But today is a very special video and I will be reviewing the Reese DIY Ultimate Crochet Tutu Top Pattern. I will leave a link down below for both her YouTube channel, please subscribe, as well as her website where you can purchase this pattern. I will be making a size 2T outfit today and um, so there are instructions here that I've already printed out and I've already printed out the pattern as well. It indicates how much fabric, ribbon, and how much of the crochet tutu top material you will need as well. So for today I have a red cotton fabric, a black cotton fabric, and then I also have this 8 inch crochet tutu top but I will be adjusting that in a bit. I also have here a 7 8 inch black grow grain ribbon. She does indicate here that 1 inch or 2 inch ribbon works best, but I have a 7 8 inch ribbon on hand, so I will just be using that. I also have a 1 and a half inch wide yellow ribbon, which as you can probably tell by the picture already, I don't end up using that. I end up using a yellow trim. You can also use a rotary cutter and a cutting mat, fabric scissors, regular scissors you never ever ever want to use your fabric scissors for cutting paper so I'll be using regular scissors to cut out my pattern now taking a look at the instructions here she does a really good job of having um, pictures to give you a visual as well as well-written instructions to go along with those pictures so step one is to print all four pattern pieces and to cut along the black lines so there's A, B, C, and D, and each of these, when you print them, have these solid black lines around the pattern. So you want to just take your paper scissors and cut along each of those solid black lines. Step one is done. So I have all four of my sheets cut out. Now, step two, place the pieces together, matching the four triangles in the corners to make a diamond shape, and then use transparent tape to hold all of that together. So again, there is a visual, but you're going to be setting these up in a big square. So A next to B, and then C next to D. So each of these little black triangles will meet up in the center to make a diamond shape. So mine, my lines were a little bit uneven. That could be due to how I cut it out, but it does not make a difference as far as the end result of the pattern. So just um, line all of those corners up to make a diamond shape and then use your transparent tape to hold all of that together. I printed out my pattern on a stronger cardstock paper um, in ivory one that's just what I had on hand and two so that my pattern can last me hopefully longer than a few uses now as I had mentioned earlier she does sell this pattern on her website which I will leave a link for in the description box for you to purchase it's only four dollars per pattern for the different size groups um, this one goes from 12, 18 months to 4, 5 toddler. And then there, there are patterns that you can buy that go into the larger sizes. And as I mentioned, they're only $4 each, which is an amazing price. So make sure you go over to her website to get yours, depending on the size that you need to make. So now I have um, all of those pieced together. Then it says cut along the colored marking lines for the size that you're making. So I'm going to be making a size 2T. So I'm going to be cutting around the green dotted line. So that is for the 2, 3 toddler size to cut out my entire pattern piece. I have my pattern all cut out and if you wanted to have a pattern for the other two sizes offered in this pattern group just print out two additional sets of the pattern pieces and cut those out and then just label them so that you can have on hand whenever you need a different size. So step four you're going to take your crochet tutu top and flip it inside out to expose the seam and you're going to cut the seam off. So you can either use your cutting mat and a rotary cutter to cut off the seam or your fabric scissors. Either way, you just want to cut off the seam so that you open up that crochet tutu top. I've now cut the seam off so now you can open it to be one complete piece, one full size that's unattached. Now I want to show you here. I had only an 8 inch long 
crochet top on hand and this pattern calls for a six inch crochet top. This is very important because it matches up to the armpit area of the pattern. So you do actually need a six inch crochet top. I'm just going to cut off mine by two inches and then use my serger to sew off the end so that it can still stretch and it can be a finished edge. So once I've done that, but again, that's a step you can skip if you have a six inch top already, you want to cut this piece at seven inches wide. So measure seven inches across and then cut in a straight line from there. So then you should have a seven inch wide crochet top by six inches tall, six inches in height. So again, I'm going to be cutting off two inches from the height of my top and then um, I'll be using my serger to close off that end. Moving on to step six, you want to fold your fabric in half and pin the pattern to the fabric along the fold to cut out two pieces. Your second piece is your lining. So for mine, I'll be cutting out one piece in red and one piece in black with the black being my lining. Um, to save on fabric, you should fold only as far out as what's needed for the pattern, not exactly in half. Now me just out of lazy purposes in this video, I did just keep mine folded as how it had come down the middle. But again, you can conserve or save some extra fabric if you only fold up to what's needed. So here, I'm going to be lining up my lining fabric and it's already folded along with the red so I can just cut them both out at the same time. So both the red and the black are folded and I'm just matching up the edges so that I can cut this two pieces evenly. I have my pattern placed along the fold and I'm just gonna go up a little bit higher to save some fabric for myself down at the bottom. Now here is where you would pin your pattern down. I am just going to use a heavy object to hold it in place. Um, I'm not going to pin mine and then just cut around that with the fabric scissors. So I just have a candle holder here that's going to hold that in place for me. And then using long snips, not short choppy ones, just cut along the pattern edge. Lastly, I'm just cutting out the armpit area here. So now that you have cut out your two pieces, you can open those up and see the full bodice. So you should have two full pieces, your lining and then your main fabric. So the black is my lining and the red is the main fabric. You then want to put those together, right sides facing together. On to the next step. So here you can see I've already cut off the two inches from my crochet top, so I now have a six inch crochet top. And I used my serger on the edge to finish that off so that there's no fraying or any material coming off. And then using a serger also just allows it to continue to stretch. So for the next step, we will be sewing. So we will be sandwiching the crochet top in between the two fabric pieces. And remember that your fabric pieces have to be right sides together and then we will be pinning that in place. Using the instructions to reference how to place the crochet top, you want to place the crochet top with the right side facing towards the outer fabric that you'll be using. So in this case, my red fabric is the main fabric, not the lining. So you want the outside of the crochet top to be facing that. I hope that makes sense. Then you're going to sandwich that with the lining and pin down the one side of this edge. Thank you. 
Once you have pinned down this edge, then we can move on to the next step. For step eight, we are going to pin the other side and your fabric will scrunch together and that is to be expected. So it won't stay flat, it will scrunch together, but don't worry about that. Just pull over the crochet top to the left side and sandwich that in between your lining again and then pin down the left edge just as you did with the right side. I now have both of my sides pinned together, so you can see here how the fabric scrunches in the middle, but that's completely fine. Now you want to pin along the armpit area so that when we sew, none of the fabric shifts or moves around. So taking your pins, pin down the armpit areas in place. Both of my edges are now completely pinned together with the top remaining open. So this top part here stays open, and now you are going to sew along each entire edge. You can use your regular sewing machine, or you can use a serger for this step. And I'm back, so I have both of my edges sewn together. I used my serger for this project, but as I had mentioned, you can use your regular sewing machine as well. This was just personal preference of mine. And now we can add our straps. So taking my two strips of ribbon, which on the instruction sheet, she does indicate the length that you should be cutting your ribbon pieces at. I've heat sealed my ribbon. That is not a step that is included in these instructions, but that's just something that I do for any time that I use ribbon. We're going to be placing the ribbon in through the bottom, so through the opening of the bottom, and then pulling that through all the way to the opening at the top. And I'm going to be inserting my ribbon on top of the crochet material and behind the lining fabric. So you'll get a visual here. I'm taking one end and placing that on top of the crochet behind the lining and pulling that all the way through the top, lining up the ribbon edge with the edge of my two pieces of fabric and then pin that in place and you will do the same thing on the other side. And I am inserting this all the way to the corner, so all the way to the edge. Once both ribbons have been pinned down, you want to sew them in place, sewing along the entire top piece. I have now sewn the top edge, as you can see here, and now it is time to flip our top right side out. So I'm flipping it right side out and pulling the straps and tugging on them a little bit to make sure I get all of that fabric out and in a nice straight clean line. And I love it you guys, look at this, it's already coming together. So all of the edges are sewn nicely, they're stretched in the back of the top so you won't have any issues with it fitting. I am obsessed, look at how stretchy that is. So now you can create tops for your tutu outfits that are just a little more put together than the regular crochet tops on their own. And there you have it. Now, we have one more step if you wanted to just leave it as is. And per the instructions here, we're just going to flip this edge underneath, I think it's by about a half an inch. So as you can see here, you're going to fold your fabric about a half an inch and use your iron to press that down and then use a zigzag stitch to sew in place. So that is going to be your hem. So you're going to hem the edge, or in my case, I just used my serger to um, sew along that edge. So I've already sewn my edge with my serger, so now I have a nice clean edge at the bottom and I will be covering this. So if you're not going to be using uh, or covering the bottom part of your top, then um, just go ahead and hem under and sew with a zigzag stitch just so it looks nice and finished and clean. And here I'm just pressing out my top. So I want my edges to be nice and crisp and flat. So I'm just pressing this out before moving on to the design portion of my top. 
I then used my Cricut machine to create an Incredibles logo, which I will then iron onto my top. If you need a tutorial on how to do that, I do have a video showing how I made a Minnie Mouse shirt, so please feel free to refer to that video for further instructions. You could be done at this point, but you know I always have to add something extra. Originally I was thinking I was going to use this one and a half inch wide yellow ribbon and sew it right on top, but after the filming of this video I did decide to use just a trim that I got from Hobby Lobby in the same yellow color which you see in the picture at the beginning of the video. And all I did was sew it directly on top of the um, bottom portion of my top just to give it a little extra detail. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Please make sure to follow Reese DIY if you don't already, and then you can head over to her website to purchase this pattern and start creating your own. Um, the options honestly are endless. I will be doing a video soon on how you can use the same pattern and make it into a corset top in the back rather than using a crochet top. But if you guys have any other requests or suggestions of um, either characters or construction types of videos, just leave a comment down below and let me know and I will do my best to make it happen. Thanks for watching.